All right, let's look at uh, modeling this Earth-Moon orbit here, and we're going to look at it in Desmos. So as a parametric, let's just assume the radius from the Earth to the Moon is 4 something. So we can say 4 cosine 2 pi over 365t and 4 sine 2 pi over 365t. Great, and now we get this tiny little curve. That's how far we make it in one day. Let's make it 365 days. We get all the way around. Now we can actually watch the path of this. If I change t to some other slider, um, we'll do e for, or sorry, no, we'll do a because e is taken. Um, and we'll go from 0 to 365. And we should be able to get the Earth. Let's make the Earth a little bigger. Um, let's make it 25 big. Yeah, let's make it 40 big. Good. So the Earth is going to go around the sun. Maybe I ought to have a point the sun at zero, zero. The purple sun. Um, well, and the sun's much bigger than the earth. It's too big for this demonstration. Good enough. Okay, so there's the sun. Earth's going around the sun. Now we'd like the moon to be going around the earth. So we said that the moon could be modeled by taking the um, radius, let's say the radius from moon to earth, let's pretend it's two, whatever these units are, cosine of, now it takes about 28 days, so we'll do two pi over 28t, um, and then we'll do two sine of two pi over 28t, and so if it takes 28 days, there's our moon's orbit. The problem is the moon shouldn't be orbiting the sun, the moon should be orbiting the Earth. So what I need to do is I need to center the orbit at the Earth, and I can do that by just taking this coordinate. Oop, need to put a plus there, plus. And you'll notice it's a little off because I haven't added my Y coordinate properly centering it. So the Y is just kind of stuck there. And we'll hit plus. And we get this weird little orbital looking path. In fact, it doesn't look so accurate. Um, let's see. Well, actually, that is relatively accurate. But the problem is we have 360 days that we're modeling around. There we go. OK, so that is the path that this moon's going to take as it orbits around the Earth. So let's tone that down a bit because that's intense. So we'll do dotted lines, and we'll make them just one. So that's the path that the moon's going to take around the Earth. And I bet you'd like to see, well, what exactly does that look like um, as we animate it? So we're going to replace all these T's with the A. And you can see something happening over there, zipping around. Um, but let's create some order here. Aha! All right, look at that moon go. <laughs> so the moon's going round and round. Let us slow time down a little bit. We're doing a whole year in only a few seconds. So let's see. Aha. And round and round the Earth, the moon is going. Let's make the moon to be, I'd like it to be gray, but it's the closest we're gonna get. All right, so there we go. Moon is orbiting the Earth. Earth is orbiting the sun. And round and round we go. And we get this really interesting spiral uh, pattern just based on the, I guess you could say the period of the Earth going around the sun and the period of the moon going around the Earth. And if you were to change that, you would get different spiral patterns. Um, we can also highlight um, the fact that we have a circle around the Earth using rectangular. Um, and I want my circle to be centered at the Earth, so I'm going to take the Earth's coordinates, which are changing. And the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Oop, wrong one. And then that's equal to r squared. And we said the radius was 2, so r squared is 4. So this, we can see the moon path, and I'll turn this off for a second, the moon is just going on its little orbit around the Earth over and over and over again. 
But the actual position that it traces out relative to the xy plane that we're defining, or defi relative to the sun, is this very interesting dotted line path. Um, and that's the power of parametric equations. Like, all else going away, I'll get rid of this for a second, I've got moon, earth, and sun, and if I turn this off, and I told you, oh, write me an equation to model the moon's path over time. And it's like, how in the heck are you going to come up with that? You've got the earth rotating around the sun and then the moon rotating around the earth. And then in reality, the sun is also rotating around the Milky Way and the Milky Way is doing whatever. And it's like, but you can use parametrics because you just take one position and then you add it on and then you add it on and then you add it on. So it would actually be really easy if we knew what the sun was doing um, to get the model for everything all together. And like this crazy looking curve here is very simple parametrically. So that is one of the three ways that we can use parametric curves to model rotation. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll link this Desmos um, in the description if you want to play around with it uh, and hope you enjoyed watching.